Okay, so we are looking at the um, normal distribution. So, a continuous standard variable x having PDF f of x is equal to is equal to one over two pi sigma squared e to the power negative one over two sigma squared x minus nu squared where x is a real number is said to have a normal distribution with mean nu and variance sigma squared so for this one we don't even have to solve and see how the how the mean is the nu or how the variance is sigma squared no two we don't have to verify that this is a, a probability descent function. No, all we need to do is to take note of the following. One, that if X, if X is normal, with parameters, mu and sigma squared then we just say x follows the normal with this parameter and the variance and we have said the expectation is mu and the variance is sigma squared. The second thing is that this appropriate dense, uh, density function follows a bell-shaped um, so it's it's bell-shaped and symmetric about the mean so what's in between here is mu. So this is what they follow when they are When they are when they are analyzing your your results, so they must your results must be balanced in this form. You must have tails this side, and a bit of some a is that side, or should I say d plus, and a good number of some d's here and e. The probability that x, so the probability that x uh, lies between a and b. So the probability that x lies between a and b is so a less than x less than b this is equal to the probability a minus mu over sigma less than x minus mu over sigma which is less than b minus mu over sigma and this is the same as saying the probability of a minus mu over sigma less than z uh, less than b minus mu over sigma so this z is going to come from a table 
So there are many different types of standard normal tables. That is where now Z is coming from. So what else do we need to know here? Mm. So when we put Z here, it means that we also change the function to, if we want, we can say F of Z, then it will become a bit simplified now. You just have two pi inside here and e to the power negative half um, z squared. Negative half z squared. So because the, the x minus mu <coughs> over sigma there, it has become z in this part. So, So in most cases, we just say that the area under the curve is what becomes our probability. So let's see examples in lecture 20. So this, this is this, this is the simplest of all. Because you don't have to find its expectation. You don't have to prove the variance. You don't have to find the MGF, nothing. All you have to know is how to find the probability between A and B. And it depends much on the table. So I hope you have your tables there. So examples one, if Z, follows the normal distribution between zero and one, find A, the probability that Z is less than 1.6. So from the, So when you say Z less than 1.6, you are dealing with, uh, so first we say this is just about the area under this bell-shaped thing, like this. So when you say 1.6, you are somewhere here. And you want to deal with this part less than. So we can draw another one here. So I have something like this. And you're dealing with the, so less than it will be this part. But it must come from the table. So I got the table. Let me see if I can open the table. I hope you're also opening your tables there. The standard normal table. So if you look at the table, 
there is the small z, uh, the first column. So the first column is z. So if you go down, you find 1.5, then 1.6. Then there's 0, 0.00. So we have something like z and then 0, 0.00. And then when you come down, you find 1.6. And then here uh, we have a number 0 0.94 So when you say the probability of this, then you just go to the table and look for this number and then pick that probability. 9452. So you find it under 0 Then B, the probability Z is greater than 0 0.95. So when you do it greater, if I had this, so if we put 0 0.95 here, so I want to deal with this L. So it becomes a bit hard to deal with, uh, with that. So what we do is we reverse the inequality. Of course, we know that one is a total uh, probability. So if we do this and look for z less than 0 0.95, then subtract it from one. So again, we go back. So once we have less, then you go back to the table and see I have picked the 0 0.9452. So once we deal with the, the normal distribution, we have less to think about. So we think less. We just look uh, at the table. So the table will give us the values. So we are dealing with the area under 1.6. The probability at Z is less than 1.6. So you just go to the table and look for and look for, for 1.6. So if there's not any other guidance on the right, then you then you just pick the number that is at 0 0.00. Because we have got so many numbers here. So we'll see condition that allows us to skip the 0 0.00, I mean 00, to go to 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So we'll see situations which allows us to go that far. But if we have any, if you don't have any other restriction, we just locate our 1.6 and pick the number that is there. So now, because we had greater, we have reversed our inequality to less, and then we want to locate 0 0.95. So let's see where it is. So I have to open and close. So for 0 0.9, you get 0 0.9 from left. So this is what we do. Um, Z is here. You look for 0 0.9. Then we have another five there. <clears throat> so these numbers on the right, there's 0 0.00 here. There's 0 
there's 0 0.02, there's 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05. So what we have now is 0 0.9 from the left, and then this other five, it will come from the right. So we have to move up to 0 0.05 for us to make 0 0.95. So this was just 1.60. If it was 1.61, would have gotten the one that was uh, corresponding there. So now we have 0 0.95. So we'll look at where these two are meeting, 0 0.9 and also 0 0.05 on the table. So 0 0.05 and 0, 0 0.9 is on the um so these are in parts we have 0, 0.0 up to 0 0.4 now the second part 0 0.5 up to 0 0.9 that's where we find 0 0.9 then we go to the right and look for 0 0.05 so we are going to get 0 0.8289 so we are going to get from there 1 minus 0 0.82 Eight nine. Is it? Yes. So we'll subtract this now. So what is one minus zero point eight two eight nine? And that will be the probability that we are looking for, which is zero point one seven one one. Just like that. So how you read the table is it's also very important to take note. So you've seen, let me repeat this. So we have Z here, then we have 0. Point, um, so if you look at your tables now, you have 0. 0.0 here, you have 0. 0.1, you have 0 0.2, so just take the first part, we have 0 0.3, we also have 0 0.4. Then on the right of Z, we have 0 0.00, we have 0 0.01, we have 0 0.02, 0 0.03, we have 0 0.04, and 0 0.05. So they keep going up to 0 point, up to 0 0.09. Okay, so if I have 0 0.4, I'm coming here. Okay, so I'll pick this number here. If I have 0 0.41, then this has only two, 0 0.4. This one, I'll get it here, 0 0.01. So I'll get where the two meet. So they will meet here. If I have 0 0.34, so I'll go to 0 0.3 and look for the 4, which is 0 0.04. So I'll pick this number here. That's how we read the normal table. So that's why you saw the 1.6, it was just 1.6. So we just went for the one that was 0, 0. Okay. Then we say this is symmetric. So because it's symmetric, when you're finding the probability, so this is C now, the probability at Z is less than negative uh, 2.25. Because it's symmetric, this is the same as saying we want to get the probability of Z uh, greater than 2.25. Because it's symmetric. If you look at the normal table, it doesn't have the negatives. <clears throat> so because it doesn't have the negatives, when you see when you see the left, you pick, when you see a negative, you pick it C uh reciprocal in the symmetric sense because they already draw the normal the, the the shape 
So I've said it's it's bell shaped, so it's something like this. So if, if it's less than negative 2.25, then it's the same as the area that is 2.25 greater. So this area here is the same as this area here. So if you can't find this part, then you can find that part. So we'll pick it in that sense. And again, when it's greater, we have difficulties. So what do we do? We pick one minus the probability of Z being less than 2.25. Okay, so we now locate this 2.25. So let's go to the normal table. And see, so we have two, we have 2.0, 2.1, 2.2. So at 2.2, then we look for 0 0.05. So 2.2, then we look for 0 0.05. So 2.2, 1, 2, 3, okay. So 1, 2, 3, 0 0.9878. So 0 0.9878, which is um, a 0 0.0122. Two. So you just, you just use the table. Very easy and nice, provided you have the table. So life will become difficult if the table is not there. So in the exam, they will give you a table. So if it's online exam, <laughs> yes, you are going to because you have to be uh, going back to the table. You write somewhere and go back to the table. So I think online exam must have more time than physical. Then D, the probit having negative 1.28 less than Z, less than 1.96. So, So when we have this, uh, what do we do? This is just the same as getting the maximum. So you get the probability that Z is less than 1.96 uh, and subtract the probability that, um, uh, the probability that, um, that Z, Is um, is it greater or less? Minus the probability that Z is less than negative one point two eight. So you're picking. So you have. Suppose this is negative one point two eight, and this is one point nine six. So the probability z is less than, the probability z is less than 1.6, is, is this whole part, including this other part here, okay? But we also told z is greater than this, uh, than this part. So we remove it and just remain with this. That's why we picked this whole probability and then subtract the unwanted part so that we can remain with what we want, just this part. But how do we find? So the first probability, we found it in A. I oh, know we didn't. That was another one. So let's find the probability Z is less than 1.96. So we got the table and look for 1.96. So got your table. 
Who is having the table there? I want to see if you can read the table. Anyone with the table to respond? So you guys are learning without, without the table. Without the table. Okay. Teach what is um Z less than what's the probability of Z less than 1.96? One point nine six zero point nine seven five zero. Okay. What if we say Z less than one point nine? Seven. It will be what? <laughs> so this was zero point nine seven five zero. Okay. Then looking at the other probability, you've seen the negative there. So to find this probability, z less than negative one point two eight, we'll find one minus. Oh, actually, we are saying this probability is the same as the probability of Z being greater than 1.28. So get 1 minus the probability of Z being less than 1.28. So you locate 1.28. So 1 1.28, 1.28. That is one, two, three. One, two, three. So 0 0.8997. 0 0.8997. Then we subtract. So we get um, What are you going to get? 1.0000. So there are four and 0 0.8997. So we have three, zero, zero, one, zero. So it will be 0 0.1. Zero, zero, 003. So now when we go back to this, we'll subtract 0 0.9750 minus 0 0.1003, uh, which it then becomes uh, 0 0.8 7 0 0.87 Four seven, so that becomes a probability. So normal is very nice, provided you understand how to read the table, and also that you cannot get the probability of a negative if you don't use the concept of it being symmetric, and also that when you have greater, you reverse it and subtract from one. That way it becomes easy. <clears throat> okay, so let's log out and log back so that we can continue and finish the normal.